You better beg me to come back next time. Bro, what are these choices? World shop. Let's go for adventure logs. I'm gonna go around with more XP, just in case we are under leveled. Oh, we reach level 5. We'll wait until we have enough for the whole discount banner or whatever. Happy. To that 10 game. There's a little robot. Let's force a shutdown. We saved just a teensy bit of power for the station. It's not much, but it's still enough to make you puff out your chest in pride. Damn. Level 13? Oh god, no, 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 no. So about that XP I purchased. I know certain someone's gonna be upset with the mention of this number. Alright, let's take care of you. Move carefully. Let's go bounce. Ooh, let's see. Tough luck running into me. Alright, shield for me. Let's make it quick. I'm almost a dead. Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. Gotta try hard sometimes. All right. Watch this awesome move. Too late to repent. All right, let's finish this. Please play in moderation and spend rationally. Oh, look at Hoyo for caring. Hey, I heard the news. You're coming with us on the express, right? You want me to come along? Do I even need to say it? I think we're becoming fast friends. Isn't that enough? But you look like you've got something on your mind. Come on, out with it. You know, when you were passed out, all I thought was I had to look after you. And then you picked up the bat just incredible! In the blink of an eye, you knocked that big fella into Mr. Yang's black hole and saved me! I still haven't thanked you properly yet. I'll be waiting for you! we got more side quests to take care of. So, have you thought things through? Yep, yeah, I finished all the side quests I needed to. Then come with me. The way <laughs> to celebrate Let's go! I'll be Till we make it oh, 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 oh. We will see I'm over here Come with me, take the journey Hey, you over there looking dumbfounded Yes, Pom Pom's talking to you Himiko told Pom Pom about your situation now listen up! Pom-Pom will only say this once. Pom-Pom's sure there have been lots of people telling you how special you are lately. But this is the Astral Express, and everyone on here has their secrets. Since you chose to board, you can abide by the rules. You're not the only special one here. You'd best remember that. I'm Pom-Pom, the conductor. Just come find me if you have any trouble. He's my boy. Oh, it's you. How do you feel? Very tasteful. Tasteful? Oh, you mean the train. I was uh, asking how you felt physically. No, I was referring to you. You are right, though. Looking at the interior decoration, you can tell trailblazers have quite good taste. In any case, I have to thank you for saving March. You guys saved me, too. <laughs> All I did was calm that thing inside you down temporarily. I don't want to frighten you, but the truth is you won't ever be in the clear while it's still inside your body. However, as long as the Stellaron is still in your body, you should be careful what you do. I don't know if Himiko and I can suppress it again, but I won't bore you any longer. So much happened at the space station, you must be tired. There should be some time until the next warp jump, so 
feel free to walk around and familiarize yourself with the environment. All right, where's her room? Oh, why are you interested in her room? Nothing in particular. Oh, nice room. Attention all passengers. Attention all passengers. The express is about to conduct a warp jump. All passengers, please gather at the main hall. Uh, there you are. Wait, this is your first trip. So that should be double the excitement, right? I'm ready to go. That's the spirit. <laughs> I was excited the first time I experienced a warp jump too. But I'm used to it now. Don't worry, you'll get used to it too. And before you know it, you'll be a mature and dependable passenger just like me. The first step is to grab a hold of the root cause of your anxiety. Spiral abyss. You really got it, huh? The second step is to focus all your anxiety on that point. We must 36 star spiral abyss. Seems like you're a natural. It's not easy to reach this level of enlightenment. Now for step three. Yank out that anxiety and cast it away with all your might. There's no end game in Genshin Impact and you're just wasting your time playing the game long term. Really? I've never been able to do it successfully myself. What does it feel like? Like all your worries have been swept away? Yep, yeah, pretty much. <sighs> you took long enough. But at least everyone's here now. Hurry up and find a place to sit down. Try not to be like March. Always running around the express like a headless chicken. Pom Pom's going to start the final preparations for the jump. The universe. The Astral Express. Eons. <sighs> Did I get dragged into a science fiction movie or something? This Stellaron thing. In my... Are you yeah. the stars? <laughs> I've done stuff like that before. But... It wasn't stars for me, though. It was lights. When I first woke up after being rescued from the ice, I could see clusters of stars in front of me. I reached out for them automatically, but they turned out to be the carriage ceiling lights. The whole crew was watching me. It was pretty embarrassing. The whole crew was watching you? Uh-huh. Like I was some kind of weird alien. I don't really blame them for being curious, though. They had no idea where I came from. You might not believe it, but before all this, I was stuck in a huge block of ice drifting through space. Himeko and Mr. Yang and... Who was it again? Anyway, they figured out a way to melt the ice and saved me. Do you remember what happened before you were frozen? I don't remember a thing. Who I am, where I'm from, my name. It's like everything was erased from my mind. March 7th was the day they found me, so it stuck. Ever since then, I've been hanging out on this train and following it to whatever destination it decides to stop at. I'm hoping that one day, I can find my past. Uh, what am I talking about this for? A way to get everyone down, huh? Sorry. It's fine. I was the one who brought it up. Uh... <laughs> Cheer up! It's not every day someone gets to ride on the Astral Express. Ah, here comes the conductor. The Express has reached a safe distance from the space station. We'll be jumping in about 10 minutes. Return to your seats, please. Both of you! Things could get bumpy. Uh, thanks, Pom Pom. But did you really have to come and remind me? I'm not a newbie, you know. Well, it wouldn't be necessary, but Miss March 7th likes to challenge herself. And falls over every time. That's just called never giving up. <laughs> Look at this smile. This is the kind of smile that you want to protect. Hello? Hello, hello? <clears throat> All passengers, please return to your seats. The train is about to make the jump. Hold on, everyone. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. Five, four, three, two, one. Those millennia? Is this?
this what Eurilo 6 has become? Uh-huh. So, that snowy planet is our destination this time? Yes. Looks like this trailblazing expedition won't be easy. Ugh, spatial readout anomaly. Star rail stability is down to 12%. Schedule alteration. Seven day stop over time extended indefinitely. Indefinitely? Indefinitely. Until the anomaly is removed. Take an ordinary train as an example. It's like the tracks up ahead have suddenly snapped and the way forward leads straight into a collapsing abyss. The only sensible thing to do would be to break hard, right? If we try to force our way ahead, there could be a hefty price to pay. This again? Don't tell me. It's gotta be. The results of the preliminary analysis are here. The anomaly stems from a Stellaron, as always. Just like the one that's been placed into your body. What exactly is a Stellaron? Stellarons are clouded in mystery. Even Herta isn't able to fully understand them. But there's no need to worry. This isn't the first time our route has been obstructed by a Stellaron. Even if we don't know much about them, at least we know how to neutralize their influences. The only thing we can say for sure is that their arrival causes massive changes to civilizations and ecosystems. They also generate distortions in space, such as fragmentums. There must be an inextricable connection between the Stellaron we're dealing with here and Eurilo 6 becoming a frozen planet. Our current theory is that Stellarons are seeds of disaster, planted by a certain eon throughout the universe. We can't continue to trailblaze without removing the source of the disaster. Oh, you're saying... That we've gotta get busy! I'd like to entrust this trailblazing expedition to March, Dan Hung, and you. The objective is clear. Find the Stellaron responsible for the disaster and the spatial distortions, and bring it back to the Express. We'll deal with the rest. Awesome! We get to work as a team again! I'm kinda sleepy. Hey, that's not the spirit! So it's still not our turn. I know you really want to go, but we should give the youngsters a chance to get out there on their own. It'll be a good opportunity for them to bond. Nah, let Walt join our team right now. March, if you two are ready, why not go and find Dan Hung? He's probably already started collating the ecological data and survey results for Eurilo 6. It's always good to know more about the destination before you start a journey. Are you doing okay after your first jump? Dizziness or retching are normal reactions. You'll feel better once you get used to it. You feel fine. Hmm, so you have high compatibility with the Express. That's good. I went through the Express's database, and it seems the environment on Eurilo 6 has undergone drastic changes in the past few centuries. It was not a frozen planet to begin with. Well, it was caused by Stellaron. He said so? Hmm. Considering the spatial obstacles that the Star Rail has encountered, it's highly possible. I've conducted a preliminary survey and found that there's one area with a relatively normal temperature on the surface of the planet. By normal, I mean a temperature that just about allows for human survival. If I had to choose a site for initial investigation on this trailblazing expedition, that would be it. Yumiko wants you, me, and March 7th to go. As I expected. Before you came, whenever March wanted to go anywhere, Himiko would make Mr. Yang and me go with her. And even after you arrived, I didn't suppose I'd be the one to be... liberated of that duty. It's rough, buddy. I assume the trailblazing objective this time is to find the Stellaron on Eurilo 6 and dispel the effect it's exerting on the Star Rail. Right? I see. You should find March. I'll join you two once I'm ready. Did you talk to Don Hung? How'd it go? He doesn't seem very enthusiastic. <sighs> That's our Don Hung. Always trying to look cool with his poker face. Don't mind him. Relax. Don Hung and I are experienced trailblazers. We got your back. Well, are you ready? Alright. When I first saw this planet, I thought a world covered in ice. Could it have something to do with my past? Now I can't stop thinking about it. To be honest, I think I'd be kind of annoyed if I found out this was my home world. 
It looks freezing. Pretty girls aren't frost resistant. What? Is there something on my face? Nah, I was just imagining all the fun we're gonna have here. <laughs> mm. I feel sorry for this world. First the Stellaron, and now you. All right, here comes the Urelo 6 Trailblaze team. The squad. Urelo 6, we're here. <sighs> it really is one big snowball. Well, the Trailblaze path grants us faint power. It allows us to better adapt to harsh environments. I guess that makes sense. <sighs> Snow as far as the eye can see. Which direction should we take? Based on the coordinates, the target should be up ahead. And then what are we waiting for? Let's go! Why didn't we just stop where we needed to go? Hmm. Do you want to mention the time we smashed a hole through Taikian Stadium? Or shall I? <sighs> Please stop bringing that up. Let's just say that landings and crowds don't mix. Damn. Unless you enjoy trailblazing through two weeks of community service. I said drop it! Remember, we should stay vigilant. We know very little about this world. Calm down. Between the three of us, nothing will stand in our way. I mean, come on. You've got a Stellaron in your body. I have my special six-phase ice powers. And Don Hung, uh, he's got that mysterious past thing going for him. So if people start creating trouble for us, they're gonna regret it. Let's just make sure that we're not the ones creating trouble. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> let's go. Braving the unknown? That's the real spirit of trailblazing. This place still hasn't been corroded. Yet Fragmenta monsters have already made it here. Level 9, huh? Too late to repent! No manners, huh? Who will it be? Defeat enemies to obtain general materials. Oh, this is our ley line. Hey, get out of there or you'll shiver to death! Holding your breath won't help. I got this, March. Uh, someone's got their head stuck in the sand. Or the snow in this case. They just need a helping hand. Ouch! My fine fellow, was that really necessary? Is crawling around in the snow a crime these days? I mean, come on, surely. It doesn't warrant a spearing. Bro, you really just poked at him like that? But then again, how can I blame you? I mean, I caught you off guard. It, it had to happen. You could even say I deserved it, huh? Besides, I made a gallant group of new friends as a result. <laughs> Is Captain Jappard around? Uh, he, he's an old buddy of mine. Who? Wait, you're not Silvermane Guards? Well, why didn't you say so? Turns out we're on the same side after all. Pleasure to meet you. The name's Sampo Koski. I'm Sky. Excellent. I'll remember the name. Never thought I'd run into friends from the same line of work out here in this frozen wasteland. <sighs> Business is bad these days, but... Fear not. Sampo Koski isn't interested in hoarding. There's more than enough treasure to go around, so let's get rich together. <laughs> say, why don't we join forces? I have reliable intel the main strength of the Silvermane Guards is being deployed to the front line. This is a golden opportunity. What business are you talking about? Come now, friends. I can understand the mistrust, but there's no need for the charade. You mean charade? Then again, I know the rules. Vigilance is the name of the game in our profession. It's my fault for letting my enthusiasm and sincerity get the better of me. Anyway, a meeting like this has to have been written in the stars. Ask me anything you like. I won't skimp on the details. 
Still make it snappy. You're never more than ten feet from a Silvermane guard. Why are you hiding us, though? Me? You guys scared me to death. There I was, looking for relics to sell, when all of a sudden you came stomping over. I thought the Silvermane guards were paying me a visit. Seriously, though? Try treading a little lighter next time, huh? If you run into the guards, they won't hide in a snowdrift, and you'll be in a cell before you know it. I don't even know who these Silvermane guards even are. You really don't know? The Silvermane guards are Bellabog soldiers, enforcers, and police. Let's just say they're not the most flexible of people. And they like paying visits to folks in our line of work. Seems like you guys really are new to the business. <laughs> to be young and naive again. How about this? As a senior in the field, which I'm sure you don't mind me saying, I'll give you some free guidance. There are ways of doing things in this profession and you better get familiar with them. Moving in the shadows, finding the goods, pricing your stock, hiding from the guards. There's an art to all of it. No need. Why don't you just take us to the city? We don't really know the way. The city? Already? They haven't even started trading yet. Well, showing you the way is easy enough, Missy, but it would cost... But it would be my pleasure. Kindness is Sampo Kosky's middle name. Follow me, friends, and uh, keep quiet. We don't want to be spotted by the guards. So why were you hiding from the Silvermane guards? Eh, I was just storing a few relics away from prying eyes. Nothing serious. If it weren't for the uncompromising nature of our civil service, <laughs> there'd be no need for secrecy. So where about you guys from, anyway? I don't mean to pry or anything, I just care about my friends. No pressure. Rule number seven, never leave a footprint. I have my own special technique called invisible snow walking. Helps me throw off pursuers in no, no time. Who are they? Uh, you remember the Silvermane guards I mentioned? That's them. Help me, old friends. I don't want to be caught. It's the suspect and his accomplices. Arrest them. Okay. It's now or never. Over to you, dear friends. Hey, where do you think you're? <laughs> Let's go. No interesting conflict. No manners, huh? Who will it be? Tough luck running into me! The mm. truth of life and death reveal the sanctuary is but a vision! My turn! Ow. Mm -hmm. Oh god. You gonna fight him? I, Japard Lanza, captain of the Silver Main Guards, order you to relinquish your futile resistance. Stars. Ugh, that Sampo cheated us all. Wait till I get my hands on him. Relinquish your resistance. So I'm a criminal, huh? Forget Sampo. Wait until I get my hands on you. Check out this awesome move. Rules are made to be broken. Hmm. Bonk you. Ow. Move carefully. Who's the lucky one today? Stay 
step aside. I have no time now. I don't remember inviting you. <laughs> A gift from the stars. Stay focused. Take courage. Ow. Oh. Okay. Watch this. Let's go. Take this. In the name of preservation. Go away. Okay. And the prime suspect? The one with the blue hair? Apologies, Captain. We lost him during the pursuit. We can't find his footprints. <sighs> no matter. We have his accomplices. He'll be close by, plotting his next move. Well, so much for not causing trouble. I'm not trying to talk our way out of this, but we're not friends with that scoundrel. Did you see how fast he ditched us? We rescued him from the snow out of the kindness of our hearts. We had no idea he might be using us to get past you. Are you really dumb enough to fall for his... I'm a captain, not an adjudication panel. As a Bellabog citizen, you have the right to defend yourself, but that can only take place under the scrutiny of the architects. Not now. Take them away. Well... I'm going to jail! But we're not from Bellabog! Show them the photos. Photos? Ah, oh, you're a genius! Great idea! The get out of jail free card. You've seen what your planet looks like, right? I took this one. Behold, Yarilo 6. <laughs> you mean to say that this white ball that's here, <laughs> that's our home? How can that... Hmm. It is said that a long time ago, strange visitors from beyond the sky would visit us here. But that after the eternal freeze, the blizzards made passage impossible and Bellabog would cease to witness such arrivals. But these people are... This decision is beyond us. If what they say is true, then only the Supreme Guardian may decide their fate. Our job is to present them before her. Nothing more. Outsiders, follow me. Bellabog lies beyond this blizzard. Welcome to Bellabog, the city of preservation. We got a nice PNG. Up. Oh. Hey, people who randomly showed up in Sky's channel, leave a comment. Make a community. There's this dude deserves it. No, I don't. Can you shut the fuck up and take the advertisement? 